here's uh, one of the most popular microcomputers you can buy. They now have see this one on the top here. That's a five dollar board, only five dollars, and it does what the previous versions did. Now they have a new version uh, that's like thirty-five dollars. It does much more. But so here's the complete manual, tips, hacks, and fix for the Raspberry Pi, the ultimate ra Raspberry Pi handbook. I should probably tell you the prices. Uh, this is probably one of the $29 ones, $25, that's a thick thing. This is, these are usually just collections of articles that they've already published. Uh, this one is $17.99, the complete manual is uh, $17.99, Raspberry Geek uh, is uh, $15.99 and I get one more Raspberry Pi for beginners. See, so here's a good picture too of the uh, uh, the $5 one, the $35 one. I think it's $35. Uh, that's $29. So these, uh, you've seen my video, well, maybe you haven't, on the uh, chip, which is a $9 computer. And I guess you would say the advantage it would have over the $5 one here is that it, the chip has the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built into it. Now, maybe their newer one here, the $35 ones, has that. The advantage with the Raspberry Pi is, as you can see, there's all this material written up for it. So uh, it becomes a lot easier to learn and to interface it with things because people have already done, like this has over 50 projects inside. So you might find that one of those projects is pretty close to uh, what you're thinking of constructing or you could construct one to learn and then adapt it to your uses. Here's just one of the articles in the uh, uh, one that had the project book, build a 3D laser scanner. So you've got a motor, a laser, and your uh, cabinet you build, and uh, the Raspberry Pi is going to, uh, this laser is going to spin around, or the object is going to spin around, and uh, track it and plot it, and you're going to come out with an actual 3D scan. Let's see the next page for it. get to the next page. That was it. And I lost it. Well, unfortunately, this project is really skimpy. I mean, it, oh, it, it has a website to refer you to. Mushrooms and Other Fungus of North America, Roger Phillips. That's a good one. 29. Well, edible mushrooms by Miller. Tips and recipe for every mushroom hunter. Hmm. Not familiar with that one. There's a new foraging book I haven't seen before. Good berry, bad berry. Choke cherries, uh, beauty berry, barberry, autumn olive, hawthorn. Is this good, bad? Hawthorn is a bad berry because its seed is poisonous. Cook the berries and discard the seeds. Oh, it says at the top whether it's a bad berry or a good berry. Strawberry bush bad berry. Toxic in large amounts only. Pokeweed. Oh, I guess they have all the bad berries first. Then they've got, oh, so then they have the good recipes. Good berry slap next. Staghorn sumac. I didn't know they had berries. I guess. 
goji berries, beauty berries. Huh, this looks fairly interesting. And it's uh, $23. Everything's quite expensive nowadays. I'm older now, so I have sticker shock. Oh, here's good. Now, here's another format book. Similar, good mushroom, bad mushroom. <laughs> so, they're going to tell us the bad ones first, I guess, like that. So, the inedible or poisonous first. Okay, then in the back, they're going to tell us good mushrooms. Ah, there's the morals. Look alikes, okay, they have the look alikes. Uh, do they tell you that you have to cook them before you eat them? Hmm, I don't see that information, but uh, sweet tooth, pear shaped puffballs, field mushrooms, bluets, bear's head tooth. Hmm. And I assume that one's the same product. No, this one's 1995. The mushroom's cheaper than the berry one. That's that's interesting. So there's two new foraging books I've never seen. Well, they've also got this uh, uh, Idiot's Guide to Foraging. I'm not familiar with that one. This one's supposed to be very good. Adventures in an apple and plant forge, and this one I haven't seen either. Karen Manga. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't cover, it looks short on pictures, but maybe they, don't, they cover fewer species more in depth, which can be a big advantage, especially when you're starting out. It's kind of like, okay, my, this is my opinion, okay? It's better to get. This book is almost like too much information if you're starting out. It's better to get a book. And yeah, they don't even have one here that's just, you can buy field guides that are just for a certain area, which is better. Like, okay, here's another one. This one covers all of North America. Well, that's, again, that sometimes can be confusing. It's better to get a book that's regional well, the Southwest Foraging. Here's, well, uh, I can't find one specific to the Northeast right now. Uh, David Spar has one for the good, for the Northeast. Uh, there's a number of other people that have them specifically for our area. You know, if you were in a different area, you'd want that. But the advantage to a regional guide is that it covers fewer species in greater detail. Uh, I mean, with a book like this, you know, you get the color picture, and then you get a, you know, kind of paragraph or so about it. And yeah, that's that's good, but I don't know. It's just I don't consider it that good. It's I would like to have that, but I think you should start with a regional guide. And I don't see one regional mushroom guide here, which is too bad. They usually do have them. And that's that's true with plants too, although you, sometimes you'll find plant guides that are region specific. Uh, because you can get something like, well, let me just mention this here. This is a medicinal plant and herbs. And actually, I found this to be better at helping me to identify some plants than the original Peterson's edible plants because they're in drawings and this is just newer, has color pictures and sometimes I find it more uh, informative. Trees. Wow, that's so strange strange that they don't. This one's good too. I know that one. Uh, 
You don't cover some basic mushrooms there. Hmm. Yeah, that's fun. So if I brought someone in here. Oh, here's a, the uh, Peterson's mushroom, but this is all drawings. Sometimes drawings can be an advantage and sometimes it can be a disadvantage because, of course, a drawing you can put in, uh, you can make the mushroom look perfect, you can, uh, you know, make sure you show all the points you want, where sometimes a photograph won't, but then it's not, it's not completely accurate to the, to what the mushroom looks like. Now this one, this Roger Phillips guy is really nice in that it has a thousand uh, color photographs. So you really get a lot of photographs in here. So I guess I would prefer that over this. The Peterson's is probably cheaper, 21. How much did I say this one was 29? Yeah, this is on my want list, I guess, here. Here's a money magazine I buy occasionally that I really enjoy, uh, Permaculture. Uh, you know, you have to strip away the, some of the philosophical elements of it and just look at the science that they're talking about and make a decision on that. Unfortunately, some permaculture people, it's, uh, I don't know, it's a religion replacement rather than just considering it to be a part of stewardship or something. It has a whole philosophy behind it to live by and everything, rather than just being about more sustainable ways of growing things. Discover the secret of healthy soil. Article talking about the importance of uh, uh, the fungal association of plants and how it makes a difference in the size they grow, how healthy they are. Soil, this article talking about, uh, includes fungus and carbon uh, sequestration. In other words, incorporating carbon into the soil. Excellent. $8.99, I don't have today, but there it is. Peace. Installing your first uh, package. Uh, then we have another thing. It's talking about bees. You get, you know, different farm type magazines, horticultural magazines, all kinds of gardening magazines, flowers. Uh, porch gardens, uh, uh, timber, home living, log cabins, farms out west, easy edible gardening. Down here we get a lot of uh, uh, more backyard rabbits, chicken magazines, different things, herbs, a lot of herbs type things.